Hi there. Welcome back to Synchro Modeler tutorial series. In this video, we are going to demo how to use free hand slicing tool to subdivide your model. Let's take this pile cap as an example. Before slicing, we can first check out the properties of this pile cap by clicking the info icon on the side. Here, you'll be able to see the geometric information such as surface area and volume. Now, let's slice the pile cap. First, Switch to Quantity Takeoff View. Click the slicing icon and select Freehand. In the first step, we'll select the element we want to slice. You can select multiple elements in this step if you like. Here, we'll only select the pile cap and then hit Next to proceed to the next step. In the second step, we'll select the element we want to use to define the points for the cut. Note that you can only select an element that's included in your selection in the previous step. Here, we'll select the pile cap as well, and then hit next to proceed to the next step. In the third step, we'll select a mode for freehand slicing. We'll select freehand for now, and then hit next to proceed to the next step. In the fourth step, we'll create the cuts by connecting points. Note that after the first point, you have to click twice to pin down the next point, and you can right-click to undo the previous click. Once we're done, we can hit Next to proceed to the next step. Lastly, we'll hit Confirm to confirm the slice. Now, you can see the pile cap is split by the lines we've drawn. Let's try Rectangle mode now. Before we slice again, we can first merge the split elements using the merging tool. Now, let's continue slicing. Again, we'll select the pile cap for the first and second step, and then select rectangle for the third step. When creating the cut, we'll first select two points to define one side of the rectangle. Again, you can right-click to undo the previous click. Once done, we'll specify a third point to define the other side of the rectangle. You can do it by selecting a point with your mouse directly or enter a number for the length of the side. As you can see, once a number is entered, the length of the side will be fixed. Now, we'll finalize the action by clicking on the front face and then hit Next and Confirm to confirm the slice. After slicing, you can see the properties of the selected subdivision in the side panel. Also, if you'd like to see the original element, you can turn on this toggle split screen here. The original element will be shown in the right window. Its original properties will be available as well. When you're done, don't forget to synchronize your work to cloud by clicking this cloud button so the rest of your team can see your edits. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.